Hi, this is JP from Not The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the Mojo Mania playthrough series. And this is the first episode where we are playing against Magok. And uh, we are playing with uh, Wolverine in protection aspect. Uh, I decided to just net deck a decent looking uh, protection deck for Wolverine. I haven't played Wolverine that much and protection is one of my favorite aspects in the game. So I decided to... Uh, play through these uh, Mojo Mania scenarios with uh, one deck. I won't be playing them as a mini campaign, but I will just play through the scenarios to see how they work. Uh, these are blind playthroughs, so I haven't played these scenarios before. Uh, so this will be interesting. First off, uh, let's look at uh, what uh, cards are in the deck quickly. So you get the feeling of the deck. So let's hop over to marvelcdb.com. Okay, and this is the deck I am using. I won't go through the deck list in detail, but I will add the deck list link to the video description if you're interested in seeing the deck. The deck is made by Nocturnal Animal and it can be found in marvelcdb.com and it is called the Claw and that broke the camel's back and it looks interesting. And I think it works pretty okay in true solo, but can be used also in multiplayer. So, won't be talking that much about the deck, but uh, here is the list. If you want to see it, uh, just pause the video for a moment and see the cards, or go to marvelcdb.com and check out the deck. But let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, and uh, first off, uh, we almost have done the setup. But uh, there is one step in the setup that we still need to do. Uh, we have these different genres. Uh, we have uh, sci-fi, crime, horror, fantasy, sitcom and western. And uh, in the setup they instruct you to pick one at random. So I will be doing it by rolling a die because there are six. So I will be rolling a die six uh, to determine which uh, modular set I will be adding to the um, encounter deck. So let's see, we roll this. So this is a six and uh, we will be uh, picking the western. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So we got the western. I haven't even looked that uh, closely what cards come in this uh, modular set, but it will be a surprise for me to. So we have the standard and uh, Magok sets here and now one. Uh, randomly determined genre from these available in the Mojo Mania scenario pack. Okay, so we have done the setup. Uh, basically, what we need to do in this uh, scenario is to win the crowd over and after that we can win uh, the scenario. So, uh, Magok has only 10 health, but if each time we uh, defeat Magok then we put uh, rating counters on the challengers and we need to get this flipped over and get it to 10 ratings uh, to win. But of course Magok is trying to woo the crowd over also. Uh, after this gets 5, this gets turned over and uh, uh, then uh, of course if uh, Magok gets 10 ratings here we lose the game. and. Of course, if we run out of health and get defeated, we lose the game. But that is basically the scenario in a nutshell. Uh, let's just start playing and see how this goes, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin, so let's draw our opening hand of six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And of course, when I'm playing with uh, Wolverine, I'll put, just put, put the claws in play already, so I don't have to uh, restart the game if I get end up with the claws in my hand. So that's just dumb uh, to have that. But yeah, uh, we have Polaris, Energy, Powerful Punch, Professor X, Tackle and Logan's Cabin. Mm, let's think... Uh, Good play. 
just play Polaris and uh, keep the powerful punch and uh, yeah I'm not a fan of the tackle at the start so we'll get the pursuit barrage okay well okay we'll see how this goes so uh, I want I will play I use the Berserk Rage to play Logan Scabbing and I will use the cabin to shuffle one card from my discard back into the deck which has to be a Wolverine card that is everything I'll do in the Alter Ego I'll go to hero mode and uh, we'll play Polaris So, uh, after Polaris and just play, give an X-Men character a tough status score, so we'll give a Wolverine tough. And Wolverine will hit for 2 damage. Polaris will hit for 2 damage also. And that is our turn, we'll keep the powerful punch in hand. Uh, we ready up, we draw back up to 5. Uh, we get uh, what doesn't kill me, slice and dice, power of protection, and berserker frenzy. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Magog attacks. I. Uh, I will just play the powerful punch here with the power of protection. I'll deal four damage to Magog. And uh, let's see when Maga, uh, after Maga attacks and damages a character. Well, uh, we have tough, so that's good. So Maga hits for two plus one is uh, zero because we just remove the tough, so we don't add anything here. We'll get an encounter card. It is advanced, so Maga schemes for one plus zero is one, so that's okay. And that is all the villain. <laughs> Does. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we don't have that many cards here. Mm, let's see. I'll just use these cards to play the Berserker Frenzy. And uh, I'll just hit Magok to zero. That will put, uh, let's see, after when Magok would be defeated, reset his hit points to 10 per player. Instead, play three rating counters on the challengers and deal each player one face down encounter card. So we get an encounter card and set Magog to uh, 10 hit points. So we are on our way to defeat Magog here. And uh, yeah, might as well hit for another two here. And. Uh, that is it, we are ready up. We draw back up to... Oh yeah, Wolverine would heal, but we haven't taken any damage yet. One, two, three, four, five. We have Berserker, Barrage, Slice and Dice, Night Nurse, Power, power of Protection and Regenerative Healing. We'll go to the Villain phase, we add one threat to the scheme. Magog attacks and uh, I'll defend with Wolverine. So 2 plus 1 is 1 damage, so we put 1 counter, let's see, over here, and uh, then we trigger, after Wolverine takes any amount of damage from an enemy attack, draw one card, so we get the powerful punch again. Then we get the encounter cards, shadows of the past, that is bad. We get Omega Red into play. Then we get 
the side scheme for Omega Red. Well, this turned out to be a bad, bad time. Almost immediately, but it is what it is. It, uh, the encounter deck is quite slim, so we were bound to see the Shadows of the Past at some point, I think. Okay, just shuffling those uh, cards here. Well, we got Omega Red, uh, Retaliate, and Steady. So we need to remember that. So, Forced Interrupt, when Omega uh, Red attacks, you deal one damage to each character you control. That's, that's not good. Then, uh, Surprise Contender. Uh, this guy is a beast. Uh, seven health, villainous, and uh, force response after surprise con contender attacks and damages a character. Place one rating counter on the champion. Okay, so we need to get rid of that. When defeated, place two rating counters on the challenger. So that's good. But that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, uh, we'll have to figure out how to defeat the surprise contender at least. So, mm. again, we'll heal at the start of the phase with Wolverine. Then, how do we defeat the Surprise Contender, because that gives us some uh, points, so we get this flipped. Uh, we could uh, slice and dice. So, um, Exhaust Wolverine scores, choose an attack event in your hand and take damage equal to its printed cost. Play that event, ignoring the resource cost. That attack gains piercing, so we'll do that. Take three. We'll play Slice and Dice, we'll deal uh, 3 here, then the 3 here. Actually, let's put it like this. So, we still need to deal 1 damage to the Surprise Contender. Uh, how do we want to do that? I think we'll just defeat it with Polaris, so we'll get rid of it. And we'll get two here. So this flips. So after the challengers flip to this side, search the encounter deck and discard pile for the surprise contender and put it into play engage with the first player. So this guy comes back. That's not nice. Uh, I didn't know that would happen, but it is what it is, so... Oh dear, that, that is bad. Well, uh, we have this. So I think I'll defeat him again. So we'll play the Berserker Rage. Deal 4 damage to an enemy. If this attack defeats an enemy, you may take 2 damage and repeat this ability, but it doesn't. But we'll still deal 4 damage, so we can powerful punch this guy next round. Or in the villain phase. And uh, that is everything we can do. Well, uh, I think uh, Polaris was defeated. So we're ready up. Okay, so uh, we draw back up to four, uh, 5. Okay, hopefully we can survive. So we are two threats to the main scheme. Uh, we can't even defeat Omega Red at this point. So this, uh, we remove everything and add uh, two to the challenger here. And then uh, Magok attacks. Uh, how do we want to do this? Okay, we'll just uh, take the damage. So two plus two is four. <laughs> I I'm not sure if we can even survive this. Then it gets one rating here. Oh dear. Uh, oh yeah, we draw cards with Wolverine. Genius, that's great. Then Omega Red hits me uh, for two damage. We might die here. Possibly. So we draw a card. Tackle. 
Then uh, the surprise contender hits me, so I'll have to defend. Let's see, is there any way to survive? <laughs> Okay, so it initiates the attack, so I'll just play this powerful punch at that point, so we survive. So, uh, we defeat this enemy and get two more ratings over here. I'm uh, just adding counter if I find the correct one. So, we are 7 of uh, 10, so we could actually win next round, but we'll see how that goes. So. Uh, then we get the encounter cards. So one encounter card, it is bump up the crowd. When revealed, if the champion is on the cheering crowd side, place an additional threat here. Okay, we just ignore that. We have to defeat this uh, Magok next round or we are dead. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so uh, at least we heal at the start of our round. Two damage on Wolverine. Is there any way to... Okay, so I will be tackling. And I'll... Uh... Can I play? I, I think this will be a dead draw or something. Let's see. Uh, we want to play this both so we win. Oh yeah, uh, let's back up because I actually didn't have to defend against this prize contender. So uh, we just play that Wolverine is ready. Okay. Um, we'll play... The hard knocks and deal four damage here. Mm. Yeah, so four left. And we'll play endurance. So we get uh, four health. So we are at seven health now. Uh, we'll hit for two here. And I think that's everything we'll ready up. We draw back up to one, two, three, four, five. Berserker Barrage. What? Doesn't kill me. Launching strike, multiple man, and hard knocks. We'll go to the villain phase. We add four threat to the main scheme. Because one, two, three, four. Uh, Magog attacks. Uh, I'll just defend. Uh, so two plus two is four. So we'll take two damage. We'll draw a card, Nightcrawler, uh, Omega Red attacks for 2 damage. We draw a card, multiple mans, and uh, we'll get an encounter card. Oh yeah, we add one here, so this flips. Just put one, some counter here, and we get, uh, get another card. Okay, so we have plenty to defeat uh, the enemy next round. And we get an encounter card, with the, which is Wild Wild Mojo. Each enemy attack gains overkill. Both interrupt when a character takes damage, increase the damage by one. When revealed, discard each other setting environment. There are none, so I'll just place it here. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, uh, Wolverine heals for two damage, and we'll just finish the game. So uh, I will Berserker Rage. No, I will. Can I kill Omega Red? Well, we can't because that is in play. So we'll just ignore Omega Red and la Launching Strike. Uh, 
and we'll just spend these three. So we'll deal eight damage here, and that's the game. So uh, that was a quick one. Uh, we managed to defeat uh, Omega or Magok, so we've added uh, three here. So we are at ten, so we win the game by getting the crowd on our side. So uh, an interesting scenario, a pretty brutal one, um, I think. I could have gone to Alter Ego for one turn, but that risks us uh, uh, advancing this too many times, so this would uh, go to 10, so we are, we're at half already here, but still, um, I, I think this is an interesting scenario, not the worst or anything, but, um, well, it, it, it depends, you need to really rush this enemy down. Uh, so, so it can't accumulate too many counters here. I still haven't found any way here to remove these or these. So it's just a race to get to the ten before ten per player before the the villain. But yeah, that was Magok in uh, the uh, Mojo Mania scenario pack with Wolverine protection. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.